Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Morocco. Yeah. So, guys, we're like a couple months ahead of where we were last time just because I forgot to pause it. Yeah. And mainly because I was kind of getting, I was just kind of getting the, I was just trying to get to the main war part because I know that'd be a pretty interesting part in this game. Also, why are you guys all just single counties? Okay, let's go, go patrol on the Ivory Coast. Okay, anyways. Um, we, we're about to go to war with the Mamelukes, okay? We are going to go and destroy these guys. Um, by my calculation, we have even amounts of troops all the way around. Oh, man. And it looks like we are going... This is going to be a war. This is really going to be a war, but... Um, I'm actually going to have to say I'm going to have to postpone the war. A lot of you guys are thinking, like, What? Why? You look so powerful, James. You got everything. Really? Yes, I do, but... Um, while I was looking at it, I realized that my diplo my militaristic tech, even though it's Western, is not exactly equal to them. They're, they're 14, we're 11. That's... Anyone with mathematics skills can tell you that even with Westernizational skills, that's going to be a very big difference. And yeah, we're not, we're not exactly going to be um, equal to them. So um, the best I can really say is... Oh, wow, we're getting some prestige from doing that. No, no. All these missions don't really seem like something I want to do. So, yeah, no. Actually, wait, how many early characters do we even have? Thirteen. <laughs> hmm. We could actually... Well, we could actually do the quest. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard. Completing a grand fleet. It's just... It's just kind of boring. Anyway, let's put our stability up and... Yeah, just so we can gain a little bit higher dancing. But anyways, like I was saying, I I'm staying on topic. Staying on topic. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit for our conquest of the Mamelukes, at least until I have the same militaristic tech level as them, at least one lower, because honestly, that kind of difference really does make a difference. Like, technology-wise, um, you have a better... Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? You have a better, like, everything than I do? Where was it? There it is, right here. Small cannons right here gave him a more big advantage right there, and right here, the improved morale right here of the uh, of their soldiers will give them a major advantage. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick away. I'm just going to stick to my guts and just not do it yet. Just not do it yet. I know I'm usually like a major insanely bad war insanely good Warhawk, but for once I'm gonna restrain myself to not do it yet. Uh, we actually do need diplomacy cost, and Odie, you already know what I'm gonna do there. Uh, and do I wanna take Defender of the Faith? While we're, while we're on the subject, do I wanna take Defender of the Faith? Um, morale to armies, missionaries, monthly exhaustion, if it if it had missionary strength, I might take it, but um, really I don't need yearly prestige that too much. But I just need milt like missionary strength. That's really what I need. Cause this this core province is really annoying me. I'm almost done coring it, and yet I can't core it because of this. Uh. Anyways, let's just get. So yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna take defender faith, but it was really tempting for the minute I did see it. And let's start building more of our little protection places so we make sure we protect our entire places and yeah as it looks like it is a good day today that is good we got another colony that's self-sustaining and now we have officially got all of lower africa underneath our control and we're slowly almost there across to this other little major power of africa who we will try to peacefully annex no and become really good friends. Also, since we do have relationship bonuses, they became our rivals. Shoot. I was about to say maybe we should become friends with some of these guys, but they apparently do not like us. Could we do anything with you guys? Royal marriage. We could probably royal marriage the Henges into becoming a little bit more of our friends. Melwar. Yeah, you guys would not become our vassals. I mean, who would we want as our allies besides just the Ottomans if we were to declare war and defeat the Mamluks? Um, Ethiopia is in African tech group, so no. <laughs> I love those guys, but no. Hmm. 
Honestly, you guys would not be that bad. Yeah, let's... Hmm. Let's try it. Let's try to become friends with you guys. Because you guys are honestly not that bad of a people. And having an alliance from you guys would be pretty awesome. Uh, is a... Kotu is a vassal under the Ottomans. What? Huh. You can have vassals even though you're under a personal union under me. That makes perfect sense. Growing of cities attracts serfs. Really, I don't want serfs. <laughs> uh, serfs do not help my economy in the long run. They actually will will um, stop it. So, yeah, no, don't give me serfs. Give me something more valuable. Also, you guys. Um, you guys are only allied with me, but since I have no one else to attack right now, I think I probably will be attacking you guys here soon. How did you guys westernize? No way. Is everyone going to start getting, like, westernization just because I'm right next to them? No way. This little vassal place just got westernization. Uh, that makes me feel like I'm going to... Okay, go send my army in just because I feel like... I feel like that's kind of cheap because... Oh, guys, dang. They just got westernization, guys. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's off of me, too, because there was no one literally around them to do it with. This is literally off of me. They just, like, used me to, to get westernization. That that makes me feel kind of violated, actually. <laughs> okay, okay. Apparently, there's a glitch going on right now where I can't build the armies. I hate this glitch. So, I'm going to build two more army men right here. I think I'm also going to start balancing out this army right here. So, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, there we go. That should be enough of a cannon maker to where. And that should at least balance this army out a little bit better. So we have a little bit better of an army. And over here we have um, Calaboom, which I'm surprised. How did you guys westernize? Wait, 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 no. Okay, over here it's, oh, it's tribal despotism. That's their government. I was like, what? Okay, well, we're still more advanced than them, so that just means we're going to have to fight that means we're just gonna have to fight them a little bit harder, and actually, no, you know what? Let's just diplo annex these guys. Honestly, that would be much quicker and much easier to do than to do an all-out war. I mean, not everything revolves around war. As much as I hate to say that, it really does sound weird for me to say that, but not everything revolves around war, so. Let's just, like, become really good friends with these guys, make them like us, you know, not be threatened by them, at least not have them kill me. You guys go stomp out rebels, go take back this little province right here. They better not seize that down before I get there, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, we have all of our army men, um, just, like, combine right here for a second, and I'm then gonna separate them all out. First, they have to all combine, so I know which one's which. Congo, you guys are jerks. Uh, okay, and there we go. We got our two colonies set up. And then we're going to slowly get around here. We're almost there. We're almost completely blocked all Europeans from getting towards Africa. Denying them the rich and luscious land of a beautiful and prosperous continent. Okay, so let's see. So you guys are going to probably take a little bit to do. But let's see, can we get some alliances? No. You guys are still pretty mad at me for doing the first alliance. Well, let's give you some money. Because I know you guys are not too expensive. And apparently, we're actually losing money. Ooh. Uh, we could lower our maintenance of army a little bit. I mean, it's not too, too important right now. We don't have, like, insane amounts of rebels. Let's go right here. Go send these guys over there. And, yeah. <sighs> Just have to wait. Honestly, I just have to wait. It's a good thing. It's a good thing I'm also colonizing right now. I'm almost done with my colonizational efforts, which are going to be awesome when I finally do this. 
form an alliance with. They threaten our trick. Really? Let's form. Let's see if we can get that alliance with the Kendrick again. They seem like pretty good people. There we go. Yeah. Now we got that alliance. We got another diplomatic option. Let's see. Repair relations with the mom. No. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Sorry. I'm just not that kind to them. They're not going to get repaired relations. I'm sorry. Sorry. Just not going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Let's get all these people over here. Rebel successful. What? Oh. My army didn't get down that time. Okay, it seems like I probably need like two different armies doing stuff, okay. Convert these guys out and send them right here. And send you guys right there. And then what I'm probably gonna do is probably keep one army up here to kinda guard this half, and then keep another army down here to guard this half. Seems like I have like two major revolting areas. Over here and over here. So let's start let's start actually being smart about this and start dealing with that in smart and efficient ways. We lost the core part. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, if I must be honest. Okay, you know what? For this coin process, yeah, let's just stop the coin. Let's just. Okay, let's just see. Could we even. Nah, let's just keep losing. Keep losing it. We're not. We're trying to gain that technological advancement so that we can gain everything. And as you can see, we're. Just got more of it. Okay, see, it's drastically decreasing everything. Now we got the Tukan, Tuko, I like Tuko during this period. And do we get any more? No. Okay. And then combine all you guys. Get them all over here. We can even get more technology. Yes! And now we can become an administrative republic if we so desire. Which I so do not desire to become an administrative republic. I think it's kind of stupid that the game would ask me that. And there we go. There we have a big gigantic army standing there right on the borders of the Mamluks waiting for the war to happen. And speaking of which, it's almost been 50 years, correct? Uh, uh, you can diplo annex them in about a couple years. End of religious turmoil. The siege is over. Okay, good. And apparently we have, we can invest in an idea and we can get more tech, yes. Okay, now we just up downgrade all of our militaristic units. That kind of stinks. Uh, and let's see. Can our army still win battles even though I'm not fully, fully supporting them? Yes, we can. Good. And now we can actually convert? What? Okay, yeah. Let's start converting this one province right here. The only province that we can actually convert in this game. And, yeah, we're, we're getting pretty soon. We're going to be able to integrate our good friends, the Ottoman Empire. And they'll soon become part of our empire. And then we will basically be like a double-edged sword. Because we will have like two armies. Oh, great. The Inca. We have a superiority complex against the Inca. Well, I'm not really going after the Inca. But that would actually be really interesting if I did go after the Inca. Although it would kind of... I don't know. Hmm. I'll think about that, actually. Going after the Inca. Okay, and it seems like there's a couple end of religious turmoil, so let's see. How'd the world eventually turn out? So, seems mostly normal. The Protestants mainly... Calling yourself sustaining, yes. The, the Protestants mainly took their power in mostly Germany and uh, Sweden. Seems like England did not transfer this time. That's kind of a shame. I was also kind of hoping that maybe Venice would become a Protestant nation, because that'd be pretty fun to watch. And let's start continuing on colonization wise. Now that we got the cape, we own most of the uh, shareholders of this trade node. Actually, I should say we own all of it because that's basically our trade node now. And mission wise, what can we do? Repair relations with Castile. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> they hate me way too much. And let's start building more ramparts. There we go. Militaristic men, we discovered agents. I know, they just keep I feel like I feel like the uh the Mamelukes are seriously trying to expand as much land as they can for me. They are in a union as Ethiopia to as protectorates. Wow.
Why are you under protectorate under Ethiopia? Ethiopia, that's stupid. You just made my job a lot harder now, because now, uh... Oh, gosh, I'm gonna have to find more alliances now to fight them with. Kind of stinks. Because now they, because now Mamluks have all these guys and these guys on their side. That's a pretty big alliance. And apparently I'm still their rival. Does that mean I rival them at some point? Uh, let's see. View country. No, I have, like, no rivals right now. So I don't know why they... I don't know why they rivaled me, because I'm, like, nowhere near them, and I'm, like, nowhere near as powerful as them. Why haven't you wiped them off the board, though, Russia? That's my real question out of any of this. Russia should be, like, destroying them all out. But they're not. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Okay. Let's see. How are we doing in our terms of money situation? We're doing pretty good. We gained a core province. That's good again. And start converting as much culture as we can. As soon as we convert a culture, we're just going to keep going on. Because I have to keep converting all this. This is slowly going up. This is going to take a really long time to convert. And you guys, you are slowly becoming Claim Throne. Uh, Claim Throne is all a person you if the monarch dies of, of unlegal air. Nah, I think I could just get him in a vassalization moment. Let's see. How much have I improved relationships with? Uh, sabotage reputation. Oh, you guys sabotage reputation with me. Gosh dang, you guys are evil. But... I'm already liking them a lot. I just need them to like me a lot. Okay. Hmm. Would it be quicker just to claim the throne or would it be quicker just to ignore them? Hmm. I don't know. Because we're just going to have to wait for some of these bad modifiers to go away. But since they can't really grow anywhere, they're going to remain that small forever. So we could honestly conquer them in a later date. Oh, gosh dang it. I'm gonna lose a lot of prestige. I'm gonna next time they say prestige, I'm just gonna have to not take it because we need this. But this is rapidly decreasing all of my lower tech, and now I'm probably guessing we can't convert this. Yep. So just cancel. Don't want to spend money on it. If we can't convert it, we can't convert it. And you guys over here, I'm just gonna keep you guys permanently situated over there. And you guys over here, you guys are going to be my northern protectorate. You guys are going to protect everything over here. There we go. And we are that close to settling the rest of this land. The end of the Peasants' War. It's a good thing right there. A fleet is the pride of the nation. Gain 10 Navy tradition. Yes. That means our Navy tradition right now is up to 54%. Dang, we could probably get an insanely good commander if we really wanted to. Um, our army tradition, though, not as much. They're kind of stuck with a really bad person. Okay, so this is still working. Apparently, even with negative 51 manpower reduction and coring cost, we can still somehow get this province to convert to us. That just shows you the ingenuity of my country. We can, we can convert anyone. Okay, so how's the trade past Mining Act, Navigation Acts? There's a lot of acts I could pass. Mm. Let's see, how much, I guess, hmm. I guess the Inca wouldn't be that bad. I mean, they only have 18,000. It wouldn't really be that bad of a colony to have. If, I, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest, it wouldn't be that bad of a colony to own. So, yeah, maybe we should go after them. Let's see, how much can we raise in terms of... Wait, where are my, like, ships? Where are my carriers? I, I know, I thought I had a ship, a specific, like, navy dedicated to just carrying stuff. Okay, uh, I guess I'll get... Hmm. It's kind of all spread out. Well, I'll make this one my carrying ship, so... Stop for a second. I know which trade node you guys are protecting. Get these guys out. Uh, you guys go right here. You guys get to continue protecting trade in Tunis. And let's just get all these guys right here. And I guess I'll build a new army of, of light ships or cogs. Oh yeah, and I still can't use that yet. That's kind of an annoying bug right now. Okay, let's build some more cogs all the way around the shore. I'll just build them like right here. So I don't have to, to read and build a lot of them because we're gonna need it to go build a big gigantic fleet to go attack the Inca. 
don't think that bad of an idea. Okay, there we go. That should be enough for a good sized fleet. And everyone, as you guys know, that is the death that is the devil bell telling us that it's time for the end of the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.